Hey folks, and welcome to another mailroom video. Um, there's been some developments with the mailroom. Uh, as you can see, if I just gently pan the camera, there is now so much mail coming into the channel that uh, one video a month just simply isn't enough. Otherwise, this video would be about an hour and a half, maybe two hours long. So, basically what I'm going to do is start doing a mailroom video every Monday. And it's going to be called Mailroom Monday and they're going to be dated instead of month, if that's a term. And um, I shall try to keep the items to about seven per video, maybe a bit more, depends how much that comes in. Um, another thing, any locomotives, any rolling stock, any models are going to feature in a video on their own. They won't even probably be mentioned in a video like this. And instead, the letter and the package and stuff will all appear in the review for that particular model. And if it's just rolling stock, then it will appear in a running video um, on a Sunday, because we have a new load of videos that are going up on Sundays called Sunday Shorts. And that's where they're gonna be under five minutes, and you'll just see it running around on whatever layout, and, um, and yeah, that's that. So <laughs> I hope you're going with me on that. I hope that's all clear. I'm going to go over this meal now, because this has been sat, well, it's probably been sat at Stapley House for about a month, and then sat at my house for a month. So all this stuff here is at least two months old. But, as I say, once we're on top of it, and things are, are go we do have the cards now. Uh, we do have the cards and the badges, so I'll just quickly show you. Ta-da! Here we go. So... Um, thanks to uh, the people at Moo, we've got a whole pack, a whole box full of really, really nice postcards. So whatever you send in, literally whatever you send in, whether it's a letter or a picture or a model or a train or a pack of coaches, whatever it is, you'll get a postcard, a nice 82 postcard sent back. Look, little logo on the bottom as well. And you get a badge, a nice 82 badge. Just as a thanks, that's all it is. It's just a thank you whatever you've sent in because you've taken time to write a letter and to go to the post office and mail a train or whatever so it's just a little thank you that will be popped into a blue envelope and sent back to you to say thanks that's all it is so if you want to receive one of these famous blue envelopes with a postcard and a badge then make sure you include an address uh, the addresses are all hidden from everybody else. They're kept secret. I, I'm complying with the Data Protection Act, don't worry. It'll all be published on the website. Everything's safe. And um, if you're not interested, then don't worry about it. Don't include an address. Uh, don't bother. And um, it won't get sent out to you. So it's left with you, okay? It's totally up to you. So I'll put all that to one side and then open some of this mail. So the first one here is, well, I think it's come from another country. It says Dublin, and that little logo there, I think that means air mail or something. So let's have a look. Ah, yes, this is definitely Irish. <laughs> look at this, how cool. St. Patrick's Day, it's a St. Patrick's card. A St. Patrick's Day wish for you, wishing you a happy heart and a glad home as you celebrate the feast day of St. Patrick. <laughs> well, Yes, probably a few months ago now, so apologies for that, but don't worry, I'm sure I had a good day, and I probably had a, a pint of something. So here we are, a St. Patrick's Day uh, card, and this says, To Will, may pleasure walk with you, may luck smile upon you, and may joy be at home in your heart, just for you. <laughs> Happy Paddy's Day from Ronan, I think. Um, P.S. Would love to see a Murphy Models review. Well, Ronan... I am going to be doing a Murphy Models review because Ireland has just recently celebrated becoming the first country on earth to legalise marriage for same-sex couples. Yeah, basically because of that I'm going to be celebrating the occasion with an Irish locomotive. So do watch out for that. I've been recommended quite a few so I'm going to decide which one's best, uh, buy it and then do a review. So. Watch out for that, Ronin. Thank you for sending in your card. I'll put it in my collection. Next up, we've got an envelope here. And obviously, um, oh, and it's got a drawing on it. Wow. Let's have a look. Okay, so his address I've covered up already. 
Um, dear Ice Age 2 Wheel, my name is Eddie and I'm a big fan of your YouTube channel. I always check your YouTube channel for new videos nearly every day. I'm 14 years old and nearly going to turn 15 in August. Huh, cool. Well, I, th I turn th th in August. <laughs> I have a few homebrew models, um, a London Olympics 2012 Javelin, a Blue Rapier, a Caledonian Saddle Tank, nice, and a Hornby Network Southeast Class 466 as well, as a Pullman coach and a Network Southeast coach, as well as some Railroad Dragons. I don't sadly have a layout as my house isn't big enough and I only live in a flat. I also have drawn a train for you. Oh, and yes, I'm also a big fan of model buses and real buses as well. I have at least 26 or more. Wow! I mean, I've got quite a few buses, but I haven't got 26. That's amazing. Sincerely, Eddie Har Harpen? Harim? Harim? Not too sure. It's either an R or a P. Um, his address is on the back, and he's included a drawing of a Class 58. I'm <laughs> just cheeky. Just kidding. <laughs> it's clearly an A4. It's an LNER A4. It's a blue one. Nice Garrett blue. I think it's probably... Maybe it's, maybe it's, um, oh gosh, what's his name now? <gasps> I can't think of the name. Sparrowhawk. <laughs> maybe it's Sparrowhawk. Eddie, I think it's Harpen. I'm pretty sure it's Eddie Harpen. That's really cute. Thank you, Eddie. That is a lovely drawing. I will add that to my collection. I love that blue. And I think that's probably Craig's favourite blue as well. So thank you very much for that. And you'll get a postcard and a badge sent back to you as a thanks. Next up, we've got another envelope here. This is a really fat one. Okay, <laughs> finally got there. Two will slash IC82. It's fine, it's fine, it's what it says on the birth certificate. My name is Freddie and I'm nine. Aw, you may remember my last letter. Any oh yes I do actually, Freddie, yes. Um, anyway, I have sent you my latest pictures. I hope I have drawn. Uh, they were drawn by, oh sorry, PS, some of the pictures were drawn by my friend. Sam Banks. PPS, sorry about the scribbling, the scrubbing out. <laughs> Don't worry about it, Freddie, it's fine. It's absolutely fine. So we've got a picture here of an East Coast Class 43 HST. There we go, look at that. And that's really neat. I like that a lot. It's definitely a HST. Look at that iconic front end, really nice. And then a coach to go with it. An East Coast Mark IV coach, very accurate because it is a Mark IV. The um, uh, East Coast trains do operate Mark IV, so that's really, really good. I don't, I think, I don't even know if they have any Mark III's. I'm pretty sure it's all Mark IV, isn't it? Um, hmm, not too sure. Oh, he's drawn another one, <laughs> another East Coast Mark IV coach. Uh, slightly different liveries, ever so slightly. Um, I think what he's done is that you could cut these out and then make up the whole train, which is really cool. The, and the reason I'm grinning like mad is because that's exactly the kind of thing I used to do when I was little. <laughs> so that is really sweet. And then I think this might be the one by his friend. Um, although maybe not. Um, a Virgin unbranded Mark IV first class coach with pantograph. Wow. Mark IV. Hmm. I'm not too sure if they do. I think they do now. I think they do have some Mark IVs now, because Virgin are operating on the East Coast, aren't they? Yeah. So, there we go. <laughs> a coach I've never seen before. Um, a Virgin Mark IV with a pantograph. Really, really cool. Thank you very much for, uh, for that, Freddie, and Freddie's friend. I shall add them to my collection. And then, just quickly, we've got time on this particular video, for maybe a couple more. Uh, this has come from Tyneside, I think it says. Wow, again, another big thick one. I've covered up the address already. Hi Will, my name is Michael from North Yorkshire. I love watching your railway videos and I love watching your Minecraft games. They're really fun and interesting to watch with Lady Flash Art. Also, I'm a big fan of your ICH2. I love seeing locomotives and also locomotives every time I watch your videos. It helps me to learn something new in model railways. Also really interesting to come up with ideas for mine in the future. And also, here are some of my drawings from Michael Jones. And he's even signed it as well. How professional. It's like he's a doctor or something. So, let's have a look at what Michael's drawn, shall we? Um, he's stapled them together, which is nice. Oh, wow. Well, that's clearly... That's clearly rocket. <laughs> and that's really good. I think it's probably a tracing. I'm not too sure. 
but it's really nice. Or is it, it looks like it's even been done on the computer, actually. It's like he's done it on the computer, I'm not too sure. But I love the um, the huge rivets on the on the firebox there, at the front of Rocket, well, the back of Rocket. So that's really cool. And then he's also done... Now that's definitely on a computer. That looks like a Class 03 or a Class 04. No, it's a Class 03, I think. It could be an 04, could be an 04. It's the Class 06 that's got uh, just eight wheels, no four wheels. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six. That's definitely a Class 03, I reckon. But very nice. Looks like it's done on a computer. And then he's also done... Ah, oh, wow. Well, that's clearly a Class 08. Definitely. It could be a Class 09. It could be a Class 11. But I'm betting it's a Class 08. Definitely. And look at the uh, wasp striping on the back. Although, oh, you've not coloured it in, Michael. <laughs> that would have been cool to colour it in, because that wasp striping does look so cool when it's coloured in. And then, last but not least... Ah, oh, look! It's a Plaza Tamper. It's a Tamper machine. And um, it's even put Will IC82 on it. <laughs> I don't own my own Plaza through machine yet, but I'm pretty sure it's only a matter of time. So that's really cool. Thank you for that, Michael. I will add them all to my collection, and a postcard and badge are on their way to you. And then, because this video has gone on for quite a while, I'll make my I'll make this my last one for, for now. And I think it's another drawing. I can't remember. Um I always have to just check. Aha, uh -huh, there we go. See, you gotta be careful. And this is from Sam and it says to I say to slash will. Um I have been waiting uh Sorry, I've been watching your YouTube channel for a long time, and I really like your videos. You have revived, re reviewed locomotives, and then I have thought, um, what, I have, I think he's, I have, well, gosh, what does he say there? Six or two ones that I like. I think what he means is that I, he watches my reviews, and then he's used those reviews to decide which ones to get. Um, I hope you like the Class uh, 67 with the ice 82 livery, please, um, please check out, please check out my YouTube channel, uh, Deltic SP, and please can you also do a review on the Batman Class 70? Um, I've got quite a few friends that have already done the Batman Class 70, I don't have any plans to do it just yet, especially whilst it's in Freightliner livery, I'm not really a big fan of the Freightliner livery, but I do believe that there's a crossrail livery, livery now. I think there's a crossrail. Is it crossrail? I'm not too sure. But basically, yes, there could be a Class 70 review coming up quite soon, so watch out for that. Um, from Sam, um, I've covered up his email address. Please do not show your address in the video. Don't worry, Sam. Absolutely all addresses, any personal information like emails and phone numbers, it's all covered up. Don't worry about it, I absolutely promise. And even if I were to miss something at this stage, it would get caught out in the editing stage and just cut or covered up in the editing stage, so don't worry about it. Um, but yep, it's covered up. And his drawing, and I'm waiting for this, I'm... Oh, look at that! <laughs> it's definitely a 67 in IC82 livery. And oh look, he's put his... Um, I think, oh no, he's, uh, I was going to say he's put his link to his channel, but no, he's put a link to my channel. <laughs> um, well, thank you for that, but um, I do know my own address, Sam, <laughs> and I'm sure everybody else does. You should have put yours there. Um, I think he's, I think what he means is that basically this 67 is going to advertise my channel as it travels around the country, and that's pretty cool. I can't argue with that, Sam. So, thank you very much for that. I will add that to my collection, and a postcard and badge will be sent out to you. And I really have got to stop there, because I know there's all this, and then there's boxes over there, and boxes down there. But I've got to stop, got to keep it quite short. Um, but because there's a mailroom video every Monday now, it shouldn't, be a, it shouldn't be too much of a problem, and we should get on top of everything quite soon. So, <sighs> time for a drink.